New merchandise has been added to the unsellable pile of Disney crap. This is going to be good. You know, it's summertime, it's getting hotter, but you have to wear something out in public, so why not wear something with style and class? World class, that is. So go to shopwcbs.com and get yourself an official WCBS t-shirt. There are dozens of choices designed by me, and all of our shirts are shipped and printed through Teespring, so you get their customer service, support, as well as the high quality each of their t-shirt carries. So go to shopwcbs.com right now to grab one of those, and since it's summer and it's so damn hot out, you might want something cool to drink. So why not drink that cool beverage out of an official WCBS pint glass? When you do, you'll become the fifth bullshitter. You can crack a cold one with us and spend your summer watching all the new World Class Bullshitters content coming your way, including the return of good morning pop culture. So folks, you can click on those links below, get yourself an official WCBS piece of glassware, wear the t-shirt, and hang out with us all summer long. And now, back to the video. So we start off today at Target where merchandise from the newest Marvel film, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, is on clearance. 30% off clearance to be exact. And you can see here we have Marvel Legends, we have Funko figures, but the Marvel Legends are based on Guardians of the Galaxy 3. This is Marvel's big flagship of the summer, yet people are already over it. Retail is. I'm just surprised how quick this went. Why would you ever pay full price for anything, Marvel? Over here we have uh, some fierce Black Panther dolls. And we have fierce Shuri. We have fierce N N Nokia. I don't know her name. And yes, from Wakanda Forever, the bald lady. Fresh fierce collection. Stunning and brave. Now, at Walmart you'll notice... Well, there's a lot of Black Panther, and Black Panther is all on clearance. Originally $11.97, now $8, and you can take home Shuri, the Black Panther, and look, you can even get Shuri from Wakanda Forever for multiple dollars off. It's a great deal, right? Yeah, you can't sell shit no one wants to buy. Even the Shuri Copter is about $10 off. And kids aren't biting, adults aren't biting. I wonder why. Hmm, this has been a problem all year long. For the last seven months, Black Panther stuff has not sold. Speaking of not selling, how come these are the only two Marvel Legends figures that don't sell? And look who else doesn't sell. The modern day Vice Admiral Holdo. There's our friend Ironheart. More unsellable stuff. And look, even the Black Panther Wakanda Forever shampoo bottles are still here on the shelves. Look at all that Shuri. Now there's only three more up there, so that's not a big deal. Well, hold on, let's look back there. There's a whole other stack of those hidden very well from the public eye. Who doesn't want to see all the Black Panther shit that can't sell? Now, we're over in the Star Wars section. I wonder if there's any Rivas available. I bet they all sold since left. Nope, there's Riva right there. Man, we could have told you that was a bad idea a long time ago, but hey, that's the Disney way. Make merchandise based on characters nobody likes, and wait for the profits to just roll in. Look, we have Star Wars lightsaber dildos. Wonderful. Well, I can tell you where to stick that Ahsoka, but I don't think YouTube would like that. Now, I looked at the Andor figures because these things look really realistic. I mean, there's coked out Andor. He looks pretty realistic. But check this one out up here. This is actually one of the best looking Star Wars figures I've ever seen in terms of faces. I don't have anything snarky to say, it's just a good looking action figure. Now, we have the Mirthmobile, and that's a beautiful car from a beautiful movie, and I'm just going to take that home right with me right now. So at other targets, we have the Shuri Copter on sale. The Shuri Copter is $18.99 here. Wow, look at that stack of Shuri Copters. What is that, eight of them? Seven of them? It doesn't matter. There's a lot of iron hearts too. Why didn't little girls go buy these figures? Why didn't little boys play with these figures? Why didn't anybody buy these damn figures? And why is Jessica Drew the only Spider-Man figure on clearance for half off at Target? Hmm, Disney has a propensity to make toys that people don't want to buy, or a pension if you will.
Now this is the fun part. We're at Ollie's, where the good stuff is cheap, and like I always say, good is subjective. And before we find the shocking revelation, we have more Kingo, aka Eternals figures that will never sell. And then we have Icarus, the Eternal, who will never sell. You, you see the trend here, folks? The Eternals just don't sell. Get it? They flopped. Now, Baby Yoda, I'm surprised to see little Baby Yoda, Grogu, if you will, on clearance. He's so cute, he's adorable. What can he do? Uh, his eyes close, and he looks like the show. And wait, he's using the Force to pull us right back in. Look at all that Force power. And we're good. There's a lot of these things available. I'm so glad that Disney made so many. Oh, look, it's Thanos. And more Eternals. Oh, man, it's the Death Eternal. Awesome. Or maybe he's the... I don't remember which one. Is he the fast one? I don't care. Here's the fat one, the black guy, blah, blah, blah. Fastos. I know. whoop de doo But who didn't think that a... I think his name is Brian Tyree Henry action figure. Who didn't think that this figure would sell? Whew. Disney, that's who didn't think it wouldn't sell. And like I always say, even sexy Selma Hayek can't sell an action figure. Sorry, Selma. We still love you. Now, this Shang-Chi section is nothing to write home about. Don't worry, we'll see if there's more somewhere else. But here's the interesting part. We have Thor Love and Thunder now joining the ranks of the cheapest Disney shit that you can find on clearance that people don't want. And they got Thor, Star-Lord, Valkyrie... Uh, let's take a look at Thor, shall we? I didn't like this movie. They didn't like this movie. Press 1 in the chat if you hated this movie. Press 2 in the chat if you liked this movie. But there's Rocker Thor. And down here, we have Jane Foster. I just... Is it just me or is Natalie Portman unlikable? Well, at least Padme figures are cool. But let's throw that one over there. We got Star-Lord. We got the rest of the crew. Let's just get out of here. And over in the other aisle, we have Carl Weathers joining the Star Wars section from The Mandalorian. Now, I like this character quite a bit, but I guess people didn't enough to, to buy it at all? And look, more Black Panther figures. Hmm. And there's good old Shang-Chi. Yeah. How many years old is this movie now? We're at the two-year mark and change almost? And look, Ahsoka. Well, at least just a couple of Ahsokas, right? She looks cool. Not a big deal. Oh wait, it's a peg full of Ahsokas. Awesome. Look at all these Ahsoka figures. And a whole nother peg. Folks, this August, if you're excited for Ahsoka, don't pay full price for the new merchandise. Just go get the old shit. It lives alongside the Last Jedi and Eternals toys, where they'll remain forever. And I mean, I just can't believe how many Last Jedi figures still exist out here in the wild. I understand Jyn Erso's from Rogue One, but they re-released that figure in the Last Jedi line to, I guess, sell the ones from Rogue One that didn't sell, and it didn't work. Neither did Disney Infinity. Oh well. And I still don't know what the hell this damn Eternals disc launcher thing is. Kids don't want it. Adults don't want it. Ollie's doesn't really want it, but they're stuck with it. And look, a Mandalorian helmet. That's kind of cool. Let's take a closer look. Here's a whole wall of those Eternals disc launchers at another store. These literally haven't moved in the months that we've been coming to these stores. Not a surprise. See, we have some more Carl Weathers action figures. If those were Apollo Creed figures, those would have moved quickly. But alas, it's the Mandalorian. And these Star Wars Last Jedi figures at this location are stacked fat. Look at that. These are really, really packed pegs. So that five times fast. And that's a whole row array right there. I'm glad Kathleen Kennedy's given her another movie. Who's excited? Put your hands down. Here's our good old Shang-Chi wall that doesn't ever shrink. It just stays the same. And as you can see here, there's a sale. So let's just take a look and see how many there are. A lot, a whole army. And everything is 15% off this week. So this bad boy is, what, $5.99? Let's look at the chart here. It'll become $5.09. Whew, that's really going to entice people to buy. I took home none of them. Just like this Captain Marvel. Now here's the Eternal section. Not really shrinking from the Eternal section. 
We're, listen, we're missing some of the Captain America stuff, but look, a whole new case of Thor Ragnarok sitting on the shelves already. We got uh, Star-Lord, uh, Christian Bale's character, uh, Gore, and another Valkyrie. Let's check out who else we got back here. Valkyrie, Thor. Let's take another look at Thor. It's a good looking figure, but it comes from a movie that nobody really liked that much. You can see a Jane Foster over there, and hey, there's Thor in his armor. Wasn't cool enough to buy, but I'm sure someone will get it. And uh, shout out to D. Pensack, one of our listeners, found me in the wild recording this video. So they had to hide more Eternals toys behind this set of whatever it was. And look, we got Fastos and the Chick and Icarus. And God, I remember their names so well now. Let's just put this uh, beanbag set back. Now on the other side, well, welcome to the club Han Solo. Yeah, the captain of the Millennium Falcon and father of the year Han Solo is, uh, well, he's on clearance over here. Awesome. From The Force Awakens. I wonder why that didn't sell at retail. Now, no, this one is not from 2015. It's a re-release from a 2015 figure. And if you want to read that, you can pause right now. But there's, you know, there's Han Solo. There's Grand Moff Tarkin. Which I'm surprised there's a Grand Moff Tarkin here. Another Tarkin. Oh, there's Leia. Let's look at this one since it's closer and easier to pull out. And who's behind Leia? <gasps> Chewbacca! What a Wookiee. What a surprise, actually, to see Chewbacca here. It's kind of sad. Um, Forrest Whitaker from Rogue One. More Princess Leia. More Leia. A lot of Princess Leia. Kind of makes me sad to see Princess Leia just so abundant at the store. And another old Han Solo. If it was young Han Solo, whatever. Who cares? But... It's old Han Solo. Ah, Talking Grogu's on sale. Great. Just what I always wanted. Now, I just wanted to draw your attention to this. This is a Target-exclusive Disney piece of merchandise. But uh, let's look at the price tag. This ain't Target. Target? Not Target. And on the way out of another store, we have a whole set of Zori Bliss figures from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. This wonderful figure was released in 2019, and here we can find it many years later because no one bought it the first time around. Remember folks, The Rise of Skywalker was the first Star Wars toy or movie to not have its own toy line exclusively. They integrated it into other toy lines, and well, the results are hilarious. So folks, New merchandise from Disney has been added to clearance. It's on clearance at the regular retail outlets, and no one is buying it still. Does anyone ever... Does anyone at Disney actually even care? Do they know what's going on? I mean, hey, they're going to try to sell you more stuff, but the audience doesn't want it. So eventually, these stores are going to not take it. I wouldn't be surprised if in the future, Target's like, look, we're not going to take all of this Disney stuff. We're not going to take all of it. They're going to still sell it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, the Disney brand is so damaged, no one will sell it at retail. But you got to pull it back. It's been so much. It's been overproduced, shoved down audiences' throats, and they're not even showing up for the movies. And if they're not showing up for the movies, they're not going to show up for the merchandise. It's just as simple as that. People buy merchandise based on films they like. That's why The Eternals doesn't sell. That's why Thor Ragnarok is here on clearance now. That's why some of these characters from Star Wars are here on clearance. Because people just don't like Star Wars much anymore. Collectors have been uh, leaving the brand left and right. And, well, this is the result of all that. So it's going to be a good while until Disney merchandise is highly sought after again. But uh, today is not that day. And a quick anecdote while we're here. I saw the press release today for a new Hot Toys doll. What was the Hot Toys doll? Athena from the Eternals. Yes, Angelina Jolie. The one Eternal we're not finding on clearance because I believe she was a Target exclusive, but that doesn't really mean anything. Look, we just found some Target exclusives here. Um, yeah, they're trying to sell you a $300 Hot Toy doll. Good luck with that, Hot Toys. The movie's been out for over two years now. People didn't want the stuff back then, and I don't see how you're going to get people to buy it right now. So folks, thank you for watching. I'll be back next time with more. Make sure you guys click on those links in the description below to check out the creations that we make here at World Class Bullshitters. We have our Shop WCBS website, so get yourself a t-shirt. And you can check out Stealing Solo Tits and Art Wokebusters, all written and drawn by me. 
So folks, thank you again for watching. I gotta get out of here, but I'll be back next time with more. But in the meantime, be smart, be safe, be cool, but always be excellent to each other. Thanks for watching today's video. Yes, it's over, but don't cry because there's more, a lot more from World Class Bullshitters. And there's only one way to get it. Hit that subscribe button below. When you do that, you'll get notifications and updates from World Class Bullshitters every time we go live. Basically, you won't miss anything. And if there's one thing I hate, it's FOMO. But the thing most people hate more than FOMO is fear of missing out on World Class Bullshitters because there's just some things you can't undo. So folks, do yourselves a favor and never miss anything from World Class Bullshitters. One last thing before you go, hit the thumbs up button. Not for our egos, no, they're big enough as this, but it does help us fight the algorithm here and well, it's man versus machine and that's the real fight. But if that's not your battle, that's okay. There's one last way you can help WCBS and that's going over to shopwcbs.com, picking up a t-shirt, a beer glass, a sweatshirt, a poster, all sorts of ways to back WCBS. The difference between us and other YouTube channels is I'm the artist that makes all this stuff. So if you enjoy art beyond t-shirts, you can even read our comic books. We got it all. We're called the epitome of pop culture for a reason, and no, again, it's not for our egos. So folks, make sure you're involved with every aspect of world-class bullshit. Not just for us, but do it for yourself. We're making the change in entertainment everybody out there wants to see. And a special thank you goes out to all of our wonderful patrons who make this content possible. Go to patreon.com slash worldclassbs to get involved and help out the channel.